Hey guys, welcome back to Dog Star Fishing. It's been a long, cold, horrible winter, but today we are on the Admiralty Pier. You can see the lighthouse at the end there. Um, we're going to be doing some bait fishing while we're up here today, but on the slack water, I might get on a set of sabikis, maybe even a Dexter wedge. Uh, it's a bit of a weird tide. I think we've only got an hour till high, so we're going to get the rod set up pretty, pretty quick after this. Yeah, we're going to be fishing a dropping tide throughout most of the day. We've got some strong... Was it northeastern today, Simon? So, yeah. yeah, we've got some strong northeastern winds, about 20, 20 plus miles an hour. But this side of the wall where we're fishing is nice and calm down there. Quite a bit of colour to the water, so... We might not do too well on the sabikis, but we'll see. Um, anyway, guys, we'll get the rod set up and I'll show you what rigs and bait we're going to use and how we're going to fish. All right, guys, got one rod set up. This is my Shakespeare rod, 7,000 size reel. Uh, we've got a tapered shock leader on here at the moment, but if I lose it, I'll just switch to normal ones. Right, the rig I've gone for is a Wessex rig. So it's kind of like a running ledger, but you see up the top here, got a little snood coming down to a little four, size four hook with a ragworm on it. And we're coming down got a big old gripper lead so when you're on the addy here you do need a decent size gripper lead because even on a small tide the tide run around here is pretty pretty ferocious that's coming down to about three foot of maybe 20 25 pound line 30 hook on that end and a blow lug all i'm going to do i'm going to plop it a few feet off the wall and see what happens i'm going to try to cast it out massively then we'll get me other rod set up so only a few seconds after casting out it seems like the tide run is enough to be putting that big old bend in the rod i mean look the button's lifting up i'm about to set up my other stand my silk stand here and try to weigh it down a lot make sure that the rod's safe because uh yeah the rod i'm about to show you in a second it wouldn't be a joke if i lost it or broke it now at the moment, it's just started giving it some extra knocks and pull downs. So I'm not sure if I've maybe got a fish on already. I'll try to get the other stand set up. Then maybe reel it in and have a look. We did indeed have a fish on. The first fish of the day was a lesser spotted dogfish. So this rod is a Ziplex TBR. Uh, the TBR is one of the stiffest rods within the Ziplex range. And the plan today was to aim at a big species off the wall. So here's the rig that we're going to be using. Now we've got about four foot of 60 pound main line, a bead, a weight clip and a bead. That's going to be coming down to another swivel and then off that swivel we have a 200 pound snood line. Now the reason we're using line that heavy is because we're going to fish for congas with this rig. Now down the other end we've got a 9-0 hook there. So uh, you can see my Shakespeare is hunched over already. It's about what you'd expect even on a small tide run here. The zippy I was about to tell you has stood up nice and strong, barely showing any movement. But he did just do a big old jump then. Not sure what it was, it's gone still straight after that. But we can only hope that that mackerel is getting some interest already. Either way, we've done uh, about an hour's worth of work just to get to where we are now. We've got the camera set up, the rod set up, the drop net set up. We've got Simon fishing just the other side of this fence here. And if you don't want to know where we're fishing, we're fishing where the pathway is slightly wider. Don't want to show too much behind me because I'm not allowed. But yeah, you can see we've got ourselves a bit of a wider indent, so we've got a bit more room. I haven't fished up here too much, but I have fished in this spot before just because of how the room is. That Shakespeare's giving it a good old bend. But anyway, I'll give everything some time to settle in. We're just waiting for some squid to defrost as well, then we can get that in the action. The mackerel's nearly there as well on the defrosting. But yeah grey cold day murky water but you never know what you might find
Anyway, we'll have a little sit down for a bit and we'll reel in. Just caught sight of a dolphin or a porpoise. Hopefully it will surface again. Is it, is it the porpoise? Really? Right, this is a different dogfish because this one's a male. But it's about the same size, so back home he goes. And yeah, what have you got? Something, I'm not sure whether it's seals or porpoises, if I'm honest. Here we go. Now, just after that last video, I had an almighty bite on the Ziplex rod that we'd uh, set up for Conga. I managed to fight something for a few seconds, but unfortunately, by the time we got the camera out, I just lost it in the fight. Good sized fish as well. Yeah, mackerel clean gone. Damn, let's set up and go again. Conga! Conga! Rod's not been out that long, but I've just seen some uh, quite active dipping on the rod tips. So we'll have a look. So I'm as here on another dogfish. They're all about the same size today as well, aren't they? Relatively small. Yeah, nice little fish. Ah, just praying that conga rod bends again. Just recast out on the Wessex rig. Pretty much the same squid on the bottom, but I've got a blow lug on the top instead of a rag. I haven't had any bites on the rag today. Not so far anyway. I cast it out a little bit further this time as well. Hoping to maybe find a ray that way, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, there's definitely a few fish about. Just need to catch the big one.
That's a beast. We didn't even get him in the net. He got caught up in the side of it. Oh, happy days. Look at him. All right, guys, let's try to get him off. We'll get him weighed. Came off at eight pound three. Congas are edible, but I don't fancy eating this uh, big ugly guy. See the beautiful scarring on him. Most congas have some battle wounds along them. This side as well. But yeah, let's get it released. And off it goes. Woo, happy days. All right, we got that conga released. Just thought I'd uh, have a little look at the bait here. See, he's absolutely demolished it. That 9 0 hook was no problem for an eight pound conga. But yeah, we got another bag of mackerel down there, and I've also got, let's see if I can see him. Secret weapon, this is one of my own caught squid. And you can see the size of it, it's bigger than that mackerel, or about the same size. So we'll have a go on one of them next, see if we can get our bigger one up even quicker. Ah, uh, let's just check my line. So luckily he was right on the end of the hook, my line is alright. If I'd seen any damage on that line I'd be changing it. But yeah, should be good to go again on this rig. Here we go guys, next conga bait ready. Just chop the head off and the, uh, the mantle fins. Hook's sitting nice and proud still. Lots of bait elastic. And yeah, I'm just going to walk a little bit up tired of my rod stand and drop it straight off the wall again. Alright guys, my worm rig's been out there about 15 minutes, so I'm pretty sure we've got some dogfish to release. I've got double dog fished. Finally caught something on the top hook of the Wessex, but unfortunately, just a doggy. I think I'm going to try switching up to a uh, two up, one down, and drop that straight down the wall. See if we can find any white and pout in any other fish fish. But yeah, we'll get these two home and we'll crack on. So, what have we got? I think we've got two males. You see the giblets there? And the giblets on that one. But yeah, let's get them back. Here we go, guys. Another dogfish. There was two on, but I dropped one getting it up the wall. Not that I'm that bothered about it. Getting slightly bigger, is all I can say. But yeah, definitely casting off the wall. It's finding me the fish, even if they're only dogfish. So yeah, I think I'll keep casting off for a bit. Hopefully, just try to plough through them and find something else. Alright, guys, gone back to a Wessex rig up the top. Short snood, size 4 hook, blow worm, and down the bottom, I've done quite a big bait. So we've got a 6-0 hook on their big hook, and we've got a squid mackerel combo bait. And I'm going to chuck that out quite far again, I think the fish are a little bit off the wall, not right close into the wall at the moment. But yeah, I'm really hoping I might find a ray with that one, but we'll just have to see. Oh 
right guys, finally, found another species. Might only be a whiting, but it's still good to see it. Got another dogfish on the bottom there. And he's just taking, I just had a whole lump of mackerel on there, nice fillet of mackerel. But yeah, we'll get these two off. I'll measure the white and I might keep him as a bait. Maybe that'll be the best way to get to get a conger on. Use a, uh, a really fresh bait. Anyway, better sort these guys up before they tangle the rig to hell. Guys, we've got a fresh conger bait going out. So you can see I've used the white in that I caught earlier. Hook just protruding below the face there. I thought, let's try something that's actually swimming around at the moment. I mean, someone did catch a mackerel off here the other day. But my reasoning is, if you use stuff that's actually swimming around, Maybe they'll be more used to it. Anyway, we'll find out. I've only got a couple of hours left to fish. So, uh, yeah, we can but hope to get another one. So guys, we're fishing away. And uh, me and Simon were just talking about what other sort of rigs might be good on this pier. Now, talking to the people that work here, we've been told running ledgers, possibly a Wessex, which is what I'm fishing today, but a Wessex is basically a running ledger with an extra snood up the top. And it has caught me a few fish. But um, I'm just wondering if there's anyone watching that, that fishes on the Admiralty Pier here in Dover that maybe knows some other good rigs to use here. If you do, please drop us a comment, maybe a picture as well. Nice one. Here we go, guys. Try to stop him spinning in the wind. We've got a better size white in there. Nice colours and patterns on him. Yeah, nice and lively. I'll get him off and get him home. Right guys, another whiting and dogfish combo for me. A bit smaller on the whiting this time. And uh, Simon's on another doggy there. Nice light coloured on that one. Now, uh, you know what we're going to do. We're going to get them back home. I'm going to go again. I'm just going to keep blasting out there and just pray that I find something different eventually. Still got a rod fishing for conga straight down the water. But yeah, that's been quite inactive for a long time now. So yeah, we'll just have to keep on going on this Wessex rig. It is, it's working pretty well to catch me a small fish and a big fish at the same time. So I'm enjoying fishing with the with this rig. Seems to be working well. Simon here with the biggest white of the day so far. It's a nice size fish. Yeah, sort of bite. Yeah, I'll have. Yeah, definitely a decent size way. Alright, let's get into the last doors, like final hour. Looking like I might have a bite on as well. Yeah, one more good fish and I'll be happy. Don't care what it is, as long as it ain't a pouting, biting or a dogfish. We'll see, eh? Alright, last few fish. So I've got another white in and a dogfish. He's got one more rod out there still. And both of mine are still out, but I'm about to pull in the conga rod in a minute and start packing down. Seems like we're the only ones left on the pier. I'm not sure it was the best fishing day here today, but I'm still happy with my conga. But yeah, there's always a chance of one more good fish, so we'll keep filming. Keep fishing. There we go, Simon just reeled up his conga bait and it's been absolutely ripped in half. I think he might have missed a bite on that one, unfortunately. Better luck next time, bro. Oh, poor Simon. <laughs> All right, I'm about to get my conga one in. All right, let's get my conga rod in. I don't think there's anything there, but we'll have a look at it anyway. I've got everything else put away. I'm gonna reel in the last rod. Oh, I reckon we got a fish. We got a fish.
stockfish for the day. There we go, final fish of the day, another good damn dog fish. Um, I definitely want to come back here in a couple of weeks, so we had a weird tide today. It was it was high about an hour after we got here. I'm gonna fish here in maybe a week, maybe two and uh, hopefully some better weather and yeah more tide run coming in on you rather than going out all day hopefully that improves the fishing anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed watching dog star fishing hope you've enjoyed seeing me get that conger earlier it made me happy it was probably the first decent fish i've had on that ziplex rod i've already taken it fishing a few times but yeah that's the first thing i've got to bend in it so yeah all in all i'm pretty happy today anyway guys i'll see you on the next one